You could save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, but when we just come out and say it, it feels like it falls a bit flat. So instead, we're going to hire a professional voice actor and pay him absurd amounts of money to say, I like this product. Hmm, not sure why that was better. I mean, I'm a professional too. But we didn't pay him to say the business part, so back to me. Save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive. Sorry, I know hearing me say it was a bit of a letdown. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discount not available in all states or situations. At Kroger, we believe local produce shouldn't be hard to find. That's why we work with local farms right in our own backyard to bring the fresh produce you love to our stores. From homegrown watermelon that makes your mouth water to crisp corn picked right around the corner. Come pick out some yourself. Because shopping for local produce should be as easy as shopping at your local Kroger. Kroger. Fresh for everyone. Father of mine, tell me where have you been? Hello. Mm, Grand Rapids. Hello, Eric. Hi, Dad. How are you? I'm well. How about the, the whole thing? Every, everything's great. Everything's great. You know, it's been uh, it's been a quiet quite a summer. Uh, actually, it has. We we haven't done a lot this summer, but it's still you know just great to be able to uh, talk to you. So welcome in. Well, thank you, thank you. Likewise. Uh, what's on tap for today? Well, right now, uh, just to try to open my eyes. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, think of the things that I got to say, maybe, and say hello to Ram. Yeah, that's funny. He's, uh, he, I, I have a question right here from him. He wants, because yesterday was election day in some parts of the country, uh, some, some local elections. And uh, November is the big one. And he has a question. He says, Have you ever thought that the election in America is rigged? Or in the state of Michigan, have you ever thought that possibly the election could have been rigged? Well, I don't think so as far as that goes. I don't but, either. Uh, there's, there's a lot goes into election, you know. Uh, I'm not a political person. So I don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. But you remember when Trump won or uh, when Trump lost, when Biden won, Trump was like, oh, no, it was a scam. I I, I don't get involved in that end of it. Okay. Uh, Politically, I'm not too much. uh, Yeah. Trying to find the right word for it. Yeah, I can't you know, think of it. You would, you would probably say it's not your forte. That's true. What is it, Joanne? Washington's a scam. Joanne says Washington Uh-oh. is a scam. Washington's a scam. Okay, you know, I hear a lot. I hear that a lot from people. They're like, "Oh, it's just, it's just a bunch of uh, crooks in Washington," you know. Well. Okay. Uh, I'm not into it. I'm, I'm not knowledgeable. Yeah. It sounds like Joanne's got a handle on it, though, Dad. Oh, she does. She uh, she's pretty adamant about how things go. And does uh, does Joanne tell you who to vote for? No. <laughs> you know, no, I uh, I just don't get into it. Okay. Uh, politically, I don't because I'm I have very little knowledge about that. Hey, you know what? I, oh, I, I vote. Well, but I, yeah. I don't really. You vote for the president. Uh, yeah. I vote for the president. Right know. on, right on. Yeah, I get you. You know, you might like uh, watch a debate or see a commercial, and you and then you like like the guy or the girl, right? Something like that. Yeah, okay. We yeah, we watch the debate. What do you think? Have you have you heard of the name Tudor Dixon yet? Yeah. Joanne has. Yeah, what, what, Joanne, what do you think of Tudor Dixon? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I, I don't want what we got, and she's not, I mean, she's against abortion. Oh, yeah, dude, Dixon is like, uh, she's, uh, she's even gone on to say that, like, even in the cases of rape and incest, that she's against abortion. Yeah, that part I don't like. Yeah, that's a little weird, you know? Basically, I don't uh, agree with abortion unless there's a, a 
like that. Right, right. I so think that's got me on the fence because the other one believes in abortion. Whitmer loves abortion. She's probably having one right now. And I like her. I think she's done a good job, but I don't like that belief. Oh, it's the whole abortion thing. Gotcha. For me, it is. Right, right, right. Uh, how about this one, Dad? Nathan writes, Dear Meathead, have you ever questioned your faith in God? No. So as soon as you became a believer, it's like you've never like, hey, I don't know if this is right. You know? I've never veered off. No, no. By any subject that involves God. Yep, yep, yep. Now, I remember when we were growing up, um, you would, uh, I, I don't know if it was necessarily the same thing. Didn't you think a little differently when you were younger? No. No? Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's, uh, that's the way no. it was. You always believed in God. Wait, 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 wait. What? You were raised in the church by your mother. Aha. Uh-huh. Since I was raised in the yeah. church. Like, That's true. Yeah, I remember grandma was super religious. I, I went to church with my mom with a book of coloring, a coloring book and all that. Yeah. Uh, there, I was a little kid, you know. So was it like a religious coloring book? I don't know. <laughs> we didn't have no religious books in where I was born and raised. Okay, so grandma said, all right, I'm going to pray and you color and then that's it. Yeah, I I was just a little child. I remember that. Okay. I'm I sur- remember I was on my knees and then the bench uh, was my table. Yep. And uh, <laughs> people were sitting around me. Uh-huh. Just a little kid, you know. What the heck? Was this one of those churches where if you kind of acted out, they, like, would hit you? No. Okay. All right. But, the, wow, I remember the priest. It was not a priest that we see here. No, no, no. Just an individual man, clothes of uh, whatever, but I don't remember too much about it. I was just a little kid. Right, right. Boy, that but, is uh, uh, that 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 sounds like risky business to me to be in a uh, a country like Iran and you're practicing Christianity. Oh well, yeah, I, no, yeah, we really were not exactly loved out there. Uh, there were about one hundred uh, or one million Armenians hanging around. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, that uh, that could be rough. And I really, uh, I, I had to fight my way. I, when I matured a little bit, yep, uh, yep. I ended up having a, a group of kids. When I say kids, about my age. They were my, and some of them were like the Army people. Right, right, right. Well, I'm glad that... Um, that 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 you were able to do that. I mean, that's that's uh, that's that's tricky to be sure. Uh, well, it was a life of its own. Let me tell you. Hey, Dad, uh, Brandis here. This uh, very nice lady, Brandis. I think she's getting into. Uh, are you familiar with a sport called roller derby? Yes. Yeah. yeah that was remember back in the seventies. We'd see women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it coming back? Yeah, it is. It is coming back. And, oh. uh, and Brandis wants to participate. Uh, and she writes, do you think 41 is too old to be a roller sturdy, uh, uh, roller derby babe? 41? No, it's just, it's just, just a kid. Yeah. You just got to stay in shape, you know, and, uh, and you gotta, yeah. yeah, I mean, get in shape and, uh, get on the skates. I would love to see that. I it's, I mean, I used to watch it on TV. Oh, it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. Yeah, roller derby is great, especially when they bash each other in the face. Yeah, but, yeah, that's it. They, they can get hurt. Uh, Tyler says, Dear Meathead, I'm a 34-year-old father of a 5-year-old, and I'm single. How would you recommend meeting girls to date? <laughs> Wait a minute. And he's a What? He's thirty four and he's got a yeah. fi- he's got a five year old, but he's sing but he's single. Uh, how would you recommend meeting girls to date? Take the baby to the park. Oh, I thought Joanne said take the kid to the bar. <laughs> no, no. 
you want to just take the kids to the park. <laughs> yeah, that's a good place. That really is. Well, you know, a lot of people now all they do is they just go online and meet somebody. But I, I kind of hate that. I do, too. I do not like that line business. Let's go to line and find somebody. Yeah, it, it's it's not line. It's online. Online. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I'm with no. you. I'm with you. I, I, I kind of like him, uh, you know, uh, uh, go out and, uh, and, and interact with the world. And socialize, then, you know. Yeah, socialize, meet people. And then you never know who you're going to meet. Put well, a little. That's all right. You can decide uh, with the second meeting to where you're going with it. Right. It, it's all about the process. You got, you can't, to me, you can't really disrupt the process. Sure. So that's. I mean, I remember when, when, I, when I met Joanne, I almost lost her. Right, but that was at a bar you picked her up, right? Well, he didn't pick me up. No? no, I didn't take her out. Oh, oh, he didn't he uh, introduce himself? No, oh, he went to meet my girlfriend at the bar, and, and uh, she already had a boyfriend. Oh, so you were like the second choice? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, God. I would never let him live that down. Oh, no, he... He danced with me while he was waiting for her to get off work, and uh, he asked her if he could have my phone number, and she said no, but she would tell me about him and have me come and meet him, so we were introduced by her. Okay. Yep. I think I do remember hearing that story. And then the rest is history. Yes. Stevie. Oh. Uh Stevie writes, hello, Reuben. Uh, We had hydro seed. Are you familiar with what hydro seed is? That's that green stuff that they spray on dirt to get the grass to grow. It's got like uh, seed, grass seed in it. Joanne can tell you something about that. No, I'm, yeah. I'm familiar, but I can't tell you nothing. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, she basically she got a bunch of uh, a grass seed put down, and then there was a huge rainstorm, and the seed got washed away. The land, oh. the landscaping company wants to charge me money to reseed the lawn. But I don't think we should have to pay. What do you think? Well, I don't think I don't think it was the fault of the uh, person that did that. The no, company that did that. No, uh, you're just gonna have to reseed it and uh, bite the bullet and pay the price. I agree. I mean, if she puts it down, uh, I mean uh, that's an act of God. You can't. Uh, you, she, uh, that that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have to pay because it rained. No, no, no. What are you doing, Stevie? Come on. That's ridiculous. That's right. She said, well, I, I think she should have probably, when she, uh, you do that, just a, I don't know, just a thought. You cover it up with something for a couple of three yeah, days. Yeah, I don't I think the, I think the point of, I don't think there was anything that was going to salvage the seed because we got so much rain and, it's just yeah, one well, of those that's things. That's right. That'll wash it right out. You put straw on it. Yeah. Put some straw on it. That's not good, though, because you got to put the straw and stuff like that, then you got to clean it up. Yeah. I, and besides, I'm I'm old-fashioned. Just go and buy some seed and scatter yeah, it on there. Redo it. Yes. Come on. What are you doing hydro seed for? You're wasting your money. That's absolutely correct. It's seed somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> well. It's going to get grass somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay I don't know about you but I dress like a dick my wife is constantly like oh god you know seriously we gotta we gotta start over so you know she's kind of like really bugging me about this well thank god my friends at trend him came forward and they said hey you should talk about us on your show and then maybe you can like buy some of our stuff jack off and not dress like such an asshole. And they're 1 million percent right. Uh, Trend Him has been around since 2007. They offer accessories. So, you know, I mean, I'm a work in progress. I need an overhaul on everything. All right. Well, one of the things I'm going to need to take care of is things like accessories. Those are the things that you see on people that just make them look cool as shit, you know? 
uh, watches, bracelets, cufflinks, ties, sunglasses, belts, stuff that makes you look like a man who cares about his appearance. Because honestly, I mean, my wife wants to brag about me, but I look like a fucking extra from the show Charles in Charge, and it's embarrassing. Uh, it might be pocket squares you're into, neckties, necklaces, lapel pins, hats, gloves, earrings. They have it all, even suspenders. Okay, so this is awesome. I want you to go to this website. If you or someone you know or love need some accessories to round out the appearance, like I said, I got to start completely over, but at some point I got to round out the look. I'm going to trend him to buy my stuff. Their thought was they wanted to become the world's go-to destination for men's accessories. Now, I want you to go to this website, all right? You can use my code to save 15%. T R N D dot H M slash Zane T R N D dot H M slash Zane with that, you can shop. And when you do shop with that code, my name in there, you will save 15% on your order. So go there and just check it out. You know, do your little online shopping at what you want. They even have beard care for you guys who have those fantastic beards. All of the accessories you could possibly imagine under one web brand. Trend him. T-R-N-D dot H-M slash Zane. T-R-N-D dot H-M slash Zane. Okay, thank you, FitBod, for sponsoring the show. Uh, All the time that you have your face buried in the phone, isn't it about time that you got something out of it? The FitBod app on your phone It tells you what to do when you are ready to work out. Okay, you've made a decision. You finally want to do something. The FitBod app has everything you need. If you're working out at home, at the gym, with weights, no weights, doesn't matter. This thing is going to get you in shape on a cardiovascular level, heart and lungs, strength, your muscles, your endurance, All of that stuff, and it's going to be fun. You're going to love it. It tracks your fitness, tells you about the goals, how close you are to them, and it modifies itself and the workouts for you based on how you're doing. How? I have no idea. It's that $10,000 word that everybody uses nowadays called algorithm, but this is what I want you to do. This whole thing is free for you to try out, okay? You can try it free at fitbod.me slash Zane. Now, if you do fitbod.com, you're going to wreck everything. So don't do that and listen to me for once in your life. Try this for free. Fitbod.me slash Zane. See for yourself how awesome this is. And my gosh, you're going to get the workouts. Stick with it. Okay. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're going to get this done, and I believe in you. You can also get 25% off of your subscription and try out the app for free when you sign up now at fitbod.me slash Zane. One more time, 25% off your subscription or try it free at fitbod.me slash Zane. Now get after it. Oh, wow. Uh, All right, my, my pal Kenny has this very long email uh, and I think he's trying to score points with a girl that he likes. So, uh, he wrote like, uh, an entire book. So I'll try to, uh, put it into my own words. He met a girl. He likes her. She lives eight hours away. Uh, we agree that we should spend more time together. What are your thoughts on this? I really like her. But she lives very, very far away. That's that's trouble right from the word get go. Yeah. If okay. What? Everything is going to happen. Let's say that things took took a hold and they really fell in love. Yeah. And they're so far apart. Some changes has to be made so you can be able to see her on a daily basis if you want it and so forth. So, How the hell are you going to travel that far, far away to see that? Unless you move in there. So. Uh, or get her to move into where you are. Yeah, so if they get to know each other, that's fine. But in order for this to progress, it's going to have to be not eight hours, 
More like 10 minutes apart. That's no, that's not a good thing. Okay. But unless you get up, you, you move there, and then uh, you got family here. Uh, you move over there, you're going to miss your family. That's going to be nothing but an expensive proposition. Okay, so you got you to gotta think this through is what you're suggesting. Yeah, to think through what's what's the advantage? What what does it cost me to? I don't mean just a dollar, but the mentality. Uh huh. Problem the problem that you got to go through by sitting home and worrying about her or thinking about her. Come on. Okay, um, that is all. These are all things that are, are that need to be thought about. I agree. Uh, hopefully, they will continue to you know, progress through the relationship and, and come to some happy medium because it seems like the two like each other quite a bit. Well, that's fine. That's great. That's a good... Uh, it's a good move. Point. You're going to have to move. But uh, one has to move. Yes. If you're, if, if, if you're going to sit there and say, let's just be uh, uh, lovers separated by five states, that's, that's, a, yeah. that's a horrible idea. Definitely bad. Okay. Okay, Dad, you're going to love this one. Tyler writes, Dear Meathead, my wife was feeding our new, my wife was breastfeeding our newborn baby, and I made the mistake of comparing my wife to a cow. Wow. That's a bad mistake. (laughs) Do you have any suggestions to get me out of the doghouse? There's no way you can clear that air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, what, what a, what a, I remember hearing about this a few days ago and I couldn't believe it. Uh, the, he, he, some bonehead mistake. <laughs> and then you say it. And then you want it to be all forgotten. No yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah, that that'll, is. That'll haunt you for a while. You got to. <laughs> You got to pay the piper. That's right. That's right. Holy cow. In fact, in fact it's ground for divorce. <laughs> hey, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Grounds for divorce. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no Your no. Honor, Your Honor, I'd like to divorce my husband. He called me a cow. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Well, unless, unless... Whew. Clear her up and help her to become a, a little cow. I, I think uh, I think he was referring to the fact that it was you know the the producing the milk. It wasn't so much about like her her size. Uh, I think that that no, no, no matter how you look at that, it's going to be a cow. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, it's going to be a cow. Oh my God! Wow! Could never live it if I call my wife a cow. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and and she just had a baby. I saw her she cock me to death. <laughs> oh yeah, I I I hope that that happens to this guy. Oh my God! Oh God! Okay. Yes, you can't call your wife a cow. What do you? Uh, and, and the thing is, the guy who said it, I know he's like super intelligent and 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 doesn't like uh, he he makes good decisions, but not this time. What a what a blunder! You know what the analogy of this is to me, my brain. How stupid of that guy to do that? If it's a joke, or not, you don't joke with those things. Yes. In fact, you say, honey. You're overweight. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm sure that you're not happy with it yourself. It wasn't the weight. Yeah, it wasn't the weight that made him call his wife a well, cow. It was Because you know. she's not. She's not overweight. But, it's just that she was producing milk, and that's what cows do. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's a bonehead mistake. Yeah, and uh, again, the quote, no matter how you look at it, it's going to be a cow. It's going to be a cow is right. You might have to buy her a car. Oh, my God. You might have to buy her a new car. 
a cow driving a car. Yeah. Has she always wanted a boat? You, you, yeah. Cow driving a car. Jesus. You're yeah, you're actually making it worse. Um, I'm saying that's not real. It's a reality. What's the reality? Yeah, well, now now you're in the... You know what? You know what's going to help this guy get out of the doghouse? You are going in the doghouse. He deserves to be really kicked in a butt. All right. Well, I think we're going to end on that note. Um, I, I I think you did a great job. Everybody loves you. Any final thoughts or final words? No, oh, hey, it's a great looking day. Partially cloudy, but it's a beautiful day. Go out, enjoy it, and rake the leaves in the house, in the yard. Yeah. And uh, just stick to it. Take, take, take your time for the day. Okay, Dad. Dad, thanks. Thanks for the weather report. Yeah, all right. Wait, wait, do you want to say something? Find somebody to help. Find somebody to help. Find somebody to help. All right, I love that advice. That 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 makes perfect sense. Okay. okay. All right, Dad, I love you. How about you hugging that gorgeous girl of yours? Likewise, Joanne, I love you very much. Okay, okay guys. Bye bye. See ya. And the cats in the cradle and the